Hello everyone, my name is Isabella Sisilowati. I'm an Excel and Power BI enthusiast with decades of business experience. Today, I'd like to show you a very interesting feature in Excel 365 called Analyze Data. Yes, it is super useful as it can help you to draw insights from your data set. Firstly, it can generate numerous pivot table and pivot charts at a click of a button. And secondly, it can take your suggestions so that you can provide inputs on what you want Excel to focus, what to analyze. You can provide hints on what's important and Excel will tailor the insight that it provides to you accordingly. And thirdly, it can also answer your questions. Any questions that you want to ask about your data, you type it in a box and boom, Excel give you the answer. Let me show you. Do you ever notice that in your home buttons, there is analyze data? This is quite a powerful function because it can help you to analyze your information. Okay, let me show you. I have a set of data in here. It has lots of rows, 59,000, and it has lots of column. I haven't really dwelled much into this data, but I want to give it a go by asking Excel to analyze them. And let's see what type of insights can we get. Click the button and let Excel do the work. Once Excel has finished analyzing the data, it will then present us with some recommendations of pivot tables or charts that summarizes insights about our data. What you get depends on your luck. Sometimes Excel does a good job and it presents to you something relevant, something that you want to see, something that you find useful. And sometimes it doesn't. For example, at the moment, it's giving me too much detailed information. I'm more interested in something else. So what can you do? You can click these options or settings to tell Excel to focus its analysis on the things that you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Excel, I'm more interested in analyzing information by year and by month, as well as by state and waste category. I'm not interested in equipment at this stage. I am interested in total payable. And everything else, I don't care right now. And then I'm going to hit update. And Excel is using those inputs and reworking the analysis in attempt to try to give us something more relevant. And look at this, the information that it provides is so much more helpful. And there is even an attempt from Excel to ask us, is this useful? And you can say yes, because now I can say, all right, that's my span by waste category. Now, if I like this pivot table, I can click this and boom, automatically that pivot table is presented as an additional tab. There is a chart that Excel recommend over here, but total payables increasing over time, I like that as well. All right, let's skip that. And it's saying, oh, by state, New South Wales has the highest payable. I like that as well, I like that insight, so I'm going to keep that. And then this is waste category, it's saying NW, is the largest, and I like that too. So I'm gonna to click that, love it. Because I like all four, I have four tabs in here of my charts and pivot table, and this chart is a pivot chart, so you can change it if you want to. For example, I'm going to add state in here so that I can analyze information by state. New South Wales, for example, and notice, my charts also update when I update that in here. So it's really a quick way to create pivot table and pivot charts by asking Excel to help us with all the creation and all the suggestions when we have a large set of data and you're trying to identify high level insight and high level information. The last thing that I wanna show you is this box where you can ask a question about your data. There are some suggested questions, for example, what is the most common state? Or you can say things like, what is total payable by year for New South Wales? Oh, look at that. And if you change that to another state, say Victoria, whoa, 
that's really awesome. So you can ask any questions. Maybe instead of total, you can say, what is the count of? Look at that, this thing count. You can ask anything. So instead of total payable, maybe count of management fee. Look at that. Just make sure what you type in here exists as column heading and Excel can help you. There is even suggestions to do something different. Oh, look at that. Really nice. All right. So what do you think so far? Will you give Analyze Data a go to help you analyze and make sense and generate insights from your huge data sets at a click of a button? I hope you have enjoyed this video and find it useful. Remember, next time when you need some ideas on how to analyze and draw insight from your data, just let Excel do the work by clicking Analyze Data. See you next time.